both came from China to escape the depression. Uh, my mother came down to Malaysia with the family. Uh, again, it's a very big family. And my father is some sort of running away from home because uh, he was the eldest son in the family and my grandma didn't allow him to leave. So one day he decided to, he just feel that he have to go away uh, from China to make a living and send money back to help. So he more or less run away. What I can remember from my mother's side is she used to tell us about the fighting between the Red Army and the, and the White Army. I don't remember what war it is, but I know that when one uh, specific color army is coming, they all have to evacuate and hide, uh, hide in the in the jungle. But one of these army came round one day, raped all the stock they have, burned down the house, and uh, and um, the only place where my parents and at that time, at least about five kids could go, was going back to my great-grandparents' house and stay for a while. And uh, eventually, uh, my grandparents just feel that the only way out is to take the whole family uh, on a boat and going down south. At that time, was sort of uh, complex feeling in the sense of I was born in the in, in Malaysia but I wasn't treated like a Malaysian going through the sort of oh, where do I belong and uh, if coming over is sort of a way out to see the outside world or perhaps make a life I just feel that uh, I have to take the take the chance when you look at all the negative side you try to work something positive out of it and that is when i decided to say okay i don't have the malay language if i get a few years working experience in this country i've got something else to prove myself i still got hope <laughs> i still got life <laughs> sort of the world is out there now it's up to me what i want to make out of it <laughs>